Hey everybody and welcome to the course. My name is Daniel Buckley and I'll be instructor. Let's have a look at what we'll be making. We are going to be creating a multiplayer 3D battle royale game. Uh, here's an example of two players who are playing the game. Uh, the player on the right, you can see, uh, can kill the player on the left. And once he does that, he is then the last player alive and wins the game. Uh, this can feature as many players as you want. We are just going to be testing it out with around two or three. Um, but as you can see, we have uh, a level here, and we also have a force field in the background that closes in. For this project, we will be using Photon Unity Networking. This is a free uh, networking framework that uh, is very useful and very popular within Unity. It will allow us to connect to servers, create rooms, uh, have lobby browsers and send each other messages to create a fully working multiplayer game. So one of the first things we'll create is the player controller. This is what you will control. You'll be able to move, jump, shoot, uh, heal when you pick up a health pack and add ammo when you pick up an ammo pack. Uh, when a player gets hit by a bullet they take on damage and when their health reaches zero they will die and the camera will actually become a spectator camera. So you'll then be able to fly around the map and look at the remaining players while they play the game. Uh, we'll also have pickups, health and ammo packs that the player can find around the map. And just like any battle royale game, we have a force field that will uh, en encapsulate the players and force them into smaller and smaller uh, areas on the map. Um, this will damage the player every second or so while they're outside the force field, and it will shrink. Um, it will shrink every so meters, every so and so seconds. This is a very customizable force field that we will be creating. One of the things we'll also create is a lobby and menu system. Uh, players can join a game and wait a lobby before starting. On the left is our lobby browser. When a player creates a game, uh, the players will be able to find it in the lobby browser. As you can see, it has the room name as well as how many players are currently in it. And then on the right, we have the actual lobby. This will display all the list of players who are in the room, as well as the name of the room, and it'll allow the host to begin the game whenever they want. To do this, we'll be using Unity's UI system. On the left is what the game UI will look like. We'll use sliders for the health bar, text for all the stats, and even an image for the crosshair. On the right, we have the same thing. We have, but this time, also a scroll bar. We'll be learning how to use the scroll recs and setting all that up to create a dynamic server browser as well so that you can update constantly when you click the refresh button. So, Zenva is an online learning academy with over 400,000 students. We feature a wide range of courses for people who are just starting out or for people who just want to learn something new. Our courses are also very versatile. You can view them wherever you are and, where, and whenever you want. Uh, there's also lesson summaries so you can choose to follow along and watch the videos or even read the courses. And with the included project files, you can create the project however you want. Now of all that said, let's get started on our project.